Hello Nigeria, hello Nigerians. Welcome once again to True Nigerians, Heroes of Our Time. Today, I have a very special guest, very, very special, obviously special, anyhowly special, if there's any word like that. Um, she has won several awards. Um, she has acted in more than 200 movies. But not to talk too much, seeing is believing. For the first time on True Nigerians, Heroes of Our Time, all about Nigeria and Nigeria, I have the most beautiful, most intelligent bimbo, Akintola. Thank you for having me. Yes. We'll come back to you, uh, but we'd like to talk about Nigeria a little. If, if you have a chance to change one thing about Nigerians generally, what, what will that one thing be? The fact that we're wicked to each other, mm -hmm. even in the smallest of ways, you, in traffic, you won't give the next person a chance. Why? We are. For some reason, for some reason, Nigerians are wicked to Nigerians. I don't know. We don't treat each other with kindness, which is weird because we are a people that our tradition is, is actually based on kindness. Our, our tradition is based on unity. You know, you see a child that's not acting properly, you discipline the child. You see a child that's hungry, you feed the child before you ask about the parents. You know, but in the smallest of ways, we're not kind towards each other. We treat each other with so much hostility, I don't understand. You've done very well for yourself, it's obvious. Thank you. I hope so. Uh, no, you're not so. I work hard. Um, you have a reputation, you know. People talk about you positively and you are a workaholic. I am. Yeah, we know that. <laughs> you go. Some get a little high before they go on stage, you know, yeah. just because they are nervous or they are... They are I don't believe... I, 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 oh, okay. I don't believe in that. I don't believe you should take anything that alters your perception in any way when you're going to perform. I don't believe in it. Not alcohol, not anything. So, so what, what do you, what, you don't feel any, you don't have stage fright, you, you just go. I get nervous. You get nervous. Before I go on stage, especially if it's a play, mm -hmm. I get nervous. I do. Before I'm on stage, I'm extremely nervous, but I use that energy on stage. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. I've learned to channel the energy positively. We have a traditional question on okay. this program, which is, um, what is your definition of a true Nigerian? Hmm. Hmm. My definition of a true Nigerian would be someone that loves Nigeria. Period. That loves Nigeria. Period. Against all odds. Period. No light. Period. Light. It's like, no the, it's like the, you love Nigeria. It's like the recent you know, elections. Mm -hmm. There was a split. People were now PDP or APC. I was just Nigerian. I Look, for me, what is most important is the country, not the people. We want people that will rule the country properly, no matter where they come from. Where they come from. I don't care. This country is a great country. It's a beautiful country. It's an amazing country. It's filled with talent. God has given us all, mm -hmm. and we have not even scratched the surface. That's the truth. So for me, loving Nigeria means being ready to serve Nigeria. That is why Nigeria. I have always kicked against zoning. You know, this thing that they do that, okay, this tribe has to be What's here, this mean? tribe. Well, oh, I was hearing uh, somebody, uh, the president was on radio, uh, was on TV, and somebody was asking, eh, how come these people got this and this tribe did not get this and this one did not get this. I think that's what is really setting us back. Yes, we keep looking for where some people will eat or some people will be put there so they can benefit you. Look for the people that will benefit Nigeria. And, and you know, Nigerians don't just learn. Check out all the people in the past who have done it wrongly and how they ended up. I don't know why people are just not concerned about the end. They're always concerned about now. Okay, um, Chua Chua. Do you know what's Chua Chua? Yes, sir. How about? <laughs> Aisha. Uh, uh, what do you mean? Okay, I'm going to break her down to Pigeon Abbey. Yeah, nah, yeah. I know what's in Chua Chua. I mean, how far? Yeah. My man, I do. Not try yourself. Hey! Uh -huh. You do that? You quack, polo, polo, she? Well, one of those. Sabongida Ora. On one local government. 
Ah, that's where your mom is from. Yes. So my pigeon is rather tight. So you are half caste. I be half ethnic. <laughs> The president of, of half, half ethnicity. No wonder you don't see my A. <laughs> oh. You know what that means? Oh, to the H factor. But what's wrong with H? Can I ask a question? What's wrong with Nigerian accents? There's nothing wrong with it. Yeah, accents. especially the Hausa accent is beautiful. I think all Nigerian accents are beautiful. There's nothing. Look, why must a French accent be nicer than a Nigerian accent? Or a British accent be nicer than a Nigerian accent? For you to think other accents are nicer than our own just shows that you have a, an inferiority complex. Mm -hmm. And you think everything that's, you know, the, from there is better than here. Mm -hmm. no, that's not true. Um, what was that thing you said at first? I was going to tell you that uh, if I practice from now to two years, I won't pronounce it the way... You know, so you see, you too have that. Accent. I don't have an accent. I speak English. I went to school and I studied speech. So I speak really English the way it should be spoken. I don't speak for I don't have British accent. I don't have a. Say stunt. Accent. Stunt. You see? See the difference? Yeah, Me, I said stunt. You say stunt. Because I received stunt. pronunciation. The proper way to pronounce things. Stunt. Because <laughs> I studied speech. I just bought a new. What's your speech? What's done speech? I just bought a. It's like when you say, like most of us will say tongue, but the proper pronunciation is tongue. 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 It's an R sound, R sound. But you won't say tongue. Tongue. Yes. It's like love. Sorry. This it's like love. Uh, it's not, not love. I'm not trying to be... It's actually love. What? It's love. What's love? Not love. It's love. <laughs> love. Love. That's probably the number you know. The R sound is, is not as big as that. So it's not love. Hey, it's even trouble. Love. What we know is love. But you see, so I speak. Uh, love. I speak. In that case, I, I was spelling L A V. You can if you want, but that's not the proper way to spell it. Love. So I went to school, studied theater arts, and my, my major in school was acting, mime, and speech. Because I like to speak properly. In true Nigerians, our aim is that when we celebrate people, who are heroes of our time, people who are what we need to. I hope and pray that Nigeria will come out of the woods. When I got to know about this award, I was excited. Not because of the fun of it, but the essence of it. To appreciate the fact that no matter your little beginning, greatness lies ahead of you. I feel so honored. I don't like getting awards because I I don't really think that I'm qualified, that I've done enough to deserve these awards. But this one was particularly special because of the faith that I have in Zaki Azi. And he's a young man who's so well endowed, who doesn't just complain, he goes out and gets things done. And I think he's an example, he's a role model for our young people. If you are face to face with a graduate, a female graduate who uh, probably been looking for a job for years, mm -hmm. desperate, no capital, mm -hmm. and uh, what would you advise her? What way forward? What what I mean, she had like a million advices from. I'm very harsh. What would you say differently? Very harsh when it comes to stuff like this. I'll explain it to you. Um, my parents are not poor, but I've worked since I was 16 years old. I started working at the age of 16. That's because you can find work? No, because I made sure I created work. I used to cook and sell food. Wow. Yes. You can always create work. I used to clean houses for people. When they're moving from, a, from one house and somebody else is renting, I, I was, me and my friend Florence, we are Joan, we were the mm. cleanup crew. It, it's when you put on airs that you think, oh, I'm too big to do this. I didn't think I was too big to do anything. Mm. I cooked. I would do the cooking. My friend would go and do the selling. F Florence, she's in South Africa now. Mm. We cleaned houses together. I sang in a nightclub. There's always work. It just might not be the work that you want. But while you're waiting for what you want, do what is available. Clean houses. Mm. Sell it pure water. Se big. Sell slippers. The little girls that I call my children, I have children in the industry. Mm. Um, one of them, Debbie O'Hiri, 
she makes beautiful slippers. She goes to Ghana, makes her slippers, brings it to Lagos and sells. Hmm. When I was in university, there was a girl, Tolani Sarimi. She used to make tie and dye. She used to do it in, in, the, in the hostel and sell. There's always something to do. Don't think I'm too big for something. You're not too big for anything. There's no job that's too menial. There's no job that's too, oh, this one is beneath me. There's nothing beneath anybody. Well, the people who are doing it are human beings. Look, the guy that started the um, dustbin business, the one that started and was packing from house to house, mm -hmm. is he not a multimillionaire now? If he hadn't done that, where would he be today waiting for a job in, on, in an office? So I would say to that person, get off your behind and do something. Clean houses. Be a PA. My dear, I know there was a girl that worked for me briefly. Uh, she used to clean my house. She, she came three times a week. She was at the university. She was cleaning five or six houses at the same time. That's what she was using to send herself to school. There's always something to do. Don't wait for manna from heaven. Do something. Think about it. Do so, get up and do something. Maybe God is sending you a message that where you're going is not where you should be. So give yourself the opportunity to find out where you should be. Do something. Wow, I'm very, very happy that you said this on this program because, Kai, you know, it's an issue. And, you know, coming from someone like you who have achieved and who have traveled around the world and everything, everybody's celebrating you today. I mean, hearing this humble beginning is really encouraging to a lot of people out there. You just have to be dedicated. You have to get up and go. You can't keep waiting for somebody else to do things for you or for someone else to, to make things happen or for a job where you're going to be earning 500,000 Naira. Or, no, start from 20,000. Start from 5,000. You have to learn to get up and go. You see what you're sitting there saying, eh, eh, when I have one million, when I start business, some other person has started with 5,000 naira and, by, and will give you that one million naira in two years. When I was 16, I had a children's theater. I had about 14 children. I made money. I'm serious. I made, for three years, I had my children's, I made money. I used to pay my children. I made money from after that, my father said, oh, the noise was too much, so we stopped doing that. I moved on to the I started cleaning houses. I sang at Divine. It was on Allen Avenue or Shopee Plaza. I did everything. Anything that I could do, I would do it. I was acting whilst I was in university. I started acting whilst I was in university. Yes. I was going to school and I was working. <sighs> okay. You've heard it all. If you are not successful, it's your fault. I know people have this habit of blaming everything on the government. People just sit down and government. Do you know what even annoys me about Nigerians mostly? You see some multi-millionaires have big houses, gigantic houses on the street. And you see a small pothole in front of the house. And then you come back two years after it's bigger. Four years after it's even more bigger. Everybody's waiting for the government. We don't have maintenance culture. We don't. Even our houses, we don't maintain properly. It's quite glaring. By the way, while you were talking, say, say father again. Let me hear. My father. 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 <laughs> I'm learning now. I have to learn. Father. <laughs> My father. It's a TH, so you pronounce it with your tongue in between your teeth. Father. Father. <laughs> hey. <laughs> That's what I learned. Who think you can speak English? Come now. Come and rescue me from this one. Which one do I have to put my tongue? In between your seat for the TH. The. Father. The. The. Us. Father. 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 Okay, father. <laughs> it sounds like a father. Father. Okay, you also, you also have, uh, you have, is it an NGO? You could call it. It's a yeah. It's a foundation. It's it is. A foundation. You you are you 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 are buying toys. You are, you are buying stuffs and taking it to the uh, motherless babies. Um, you you have a passion for children. I do. I love children. Mm. I am. Uh, I totally love children. I can steal your child. <laughs> <laughs> two, two, from two years old, they love me. I don't know why. But I, I love, maybe because they know I love them. 
I love children. I don't believe in spoiling children, but you know, I love children. Uh, it means that this uh, problem of uh, IDPs and this uh, Boko Haram displacing people would have been wounding your heart a lot. Because yeah. you know. a lot of children are homeless right now. I, How I, does that make you feel? Guilty, wow. in all honesty. In all honesty, it makes me feel extremely guilty. How? How do you mean? The Boko Haram situation makes me feel like um, like there's so much more that I could be doing that I'm not doing. I think about those children. And when I do, I, I, I shut down. I have to be truthful because I have my niece is five. My nephew is five. <laughs> I can't imagine them being lost. It's been a year plus. Those children have not seen their parents. Who's, when they cry, who touches them? Who comforts them? How are they eating? Are they being abused? Abuse is what scares me more. I shut down. Honestly, I do. Mm. Mm. Okay, I can see you are close to tears, so let's just wave it aside so that the... Uh, okay. um, uh, okay, I'm also... I know, it's children. children. Children can't protect themselves, we are there to protect them, and when we're in a situation where we can't protect them, what do we do? I feel your pain. Yes, we have been talking to Bimbo Akintola, veteran actress, pioneer actress, yeah. Most beautiful actress, most intelligent workaholic. Yeah, is that time? I know all of you are wondering what she's gonna do on the program as her tax. I will not let the cat out of the bag yet, but I'm gonna surprise you. Um, you know, she's an actress. Um, whatever kind of thing we arrange for her, she will be able to act it. So we are going to look for something that she will not be able to act. It will not be in the acting, it will be in the doing. Huh? It's true Nigerians, heroes of our time. If you are ready, let's go there. <laughs> okay. She's in a hurry. Because she's in a hurry, I think she has a ticket to London. She's going to London and... Uh, see the Queen. Uh, not to see the Queen, to make more money, <laughs> to act something. So, uh, can I have a job see that all you? Because you might think this is... <laughs> I know you are lost. <laughs> See that toy you also buy me shachuga. You know that yam, the original origin of yam, is being wasted. And you know the truth is that most of these, uh, you know, polished girls like, like this can't peel yam. I'm going to disgrace you, you so know? badly. They can't do all those kitchen, kitchen work. So we want her now to peel this yam. After peeling the yam, we would uh, say uh, three different things in three different tribes that she will say exactly without mistakes or else she won't live here. She will repeat them until she gets them. Or she will do three different songs. No, if it's songs, six different tribes, six different songs. But for a start, let her peel this Iyo, Doya, Ji. See, you are doing like this. Are you going? Okay. So I need to ask questions. What are we peeling it for? To cook? For ordinary it's slice? Peel na, peel na. No, not be so. Na lie, you lie. Are we cooking? Are we peel. na lie? Listen. Are we cutting it straight? Are we slicing it to cook yam? Are we making chips? Yam chips. If it's yam chips, it, we make sure the yam. Do. No, if it's <laughs> yam chips, there's a different way to do it. If it's normal yam that we're uh, we're cooking, it's a different way. Are we doing chips or are we just cooking yam? Ha. Uh, which one is more difficult? Chips. It's okay, the... chips. If it's chips, the trick to chips is to cut it uh, heavy. This is what I do. I cut like that. Because you want your chips to be big and even. So, you have it like this and then, can I put this on the floor? Yes. This part, yes, thank you. So, this is the trick. Cut off the bottom, because it's usually bitter. You know we don't want the bitter part. Mm. So, this is what we do. Are you feeling bad? Feeling, I'm regretting why I give you this task. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's easy for you. Very, because I cook all the time. 
Don't worry, but you cut your hand now. Yeah? It go hard. I cook every day. Didn't I tell you that I cooked and sold food? It's my... Oh, yes! I, I made a mistake. Check out my new touch light. <laughs> I made a mistake. This is not for you. Mm -hmm. I thought you are a butter. You are not. Old. I'm a jepaki when it comes to food, please. I like to cook. I love cooking. It no, but me. my mother told me that women who speak big, big English like that cannot cook. Not be me. My dear, big, big I make a mean effort. We roll. Uh, Ekpan koko, afang, bitter leaf soup. Which one? White soup, a koko. Mm. Don't pay you now. Dunia, jui, jui. Okay, so the trick is to make sure that the yam is cut this way. If you want big chips, right? So, next step. You see? So, if you want it this length, you can do that. If you want it half of this length, that's the first thing to do. And these are your chips. Are you seeing it? Mm. <laughs> so, you have it this way, and then you cut in two if you want the chips to be smaller. Perfect chips. Aha! I love my chips. See? Chips. Perfection. Perfect. Mm. Perfect. Okay, say, 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 repeat after me. Takuruku mm nyamazunga. -hmm. Takuruku nyamazunga. Nyankume. 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 Upa niwe. Upa niwe. Maybe I should rap. When I'm alone in my room, sometimes I stare at the wall and at the back of my mind, I hear my conscience go telling me I need a girl who's the sweetest of dub. For the first time in my life, I say I need love. There I was, giggling about the games that we had played with many hearts and I'm not saying no names. And then the thought, of course, two drops in my eyes. Or maybe I should sing. Thank God you are not a musician. Maybe I should sing. Uh, which song are I just want to say, Baba, eh, shay. I just want to say, Baba, eh, shay. What are you singing, Hausa? <laughs> um, I, I don't, which Hausa song do I know? Mm. Alana Bakazuchi Yana. <laughs> Jeremiah. Alana Bakazuchi Yana. Did you be my chorus now? <laughs> I'm just surprised. I can sing in Calabar. Mm. So what did he, the boy know? So what did he? I don't find a young. So what did he, the boy know? So what did he? I don't find a young. So what did he, the boy know? So what did he? I don't find a young. He and I can but I don't find a song. He and I. I went to you. I studied theatre arts. We did all these things. <laughs> and I'm still cutting my hair. <laughs> I give up. He gives up. I give up. And you still have my perfect chips, which we are going to fry. <laughs> uh, I give up. I give up. I don't know what else to ask you to do now. I didn't want to take her out because I know whatever I say she should do, she can do because she's an actress. Yeah. So I was hoping I would be able to defeat her with the cooking part. Mm -mm. I'm sure she would cut her finger. She did not cut her finger. Mm -mm. And okay. It's been true Nigerians, heroes of our time. For the first time on this program, I have a torchlight that is now a yam courtesy of Bimbo Akintola. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again next time. And long, long live, live the, the Federal, Federal Republic, Republic of, of Nigeria. Nigeria. Bye. Bye.